Welcome to our lecture online. Well, at this point, you may have started wondering how do you actually connect inductors in such a way that you have a dot on one side and a dot on the other side? Well, it turns out it's pretty straightforward. And here, I wanted to give you that conceptual view of what that looks like. And we're going to do it by showing you the difference between what we call a series aiding versus a series opposing connection. A series aiding, well, first of all, series means that you put the two inductors in series, one after the other, on the same line. And when you have them aiding, that means that the dots will be on the same side of the inductor and the current will enter the, on the dot side for both inductors. Series opposing connection means that you put the dots on the other side so that in this case the current will enter on the dot side and here the current will enter on the opposite side. But what does it look like in real life? Well, of course, inductors are essentially wires that are wound around a core. It could be, it's a hollow core typically. And notice here, we're winding them like this, where in the front you come up and then you go around the back, come back up the front and so forth, and so the current will then flow around the coil like this. And then here, notice, you do the same thing, so you're winding the coil in the same direction. In the front here, upwards, and then down on the back side, up on the front, down on the back side. It's exactly the same for both coils. Now this is what we call a series aiding connection. That means the dots are on the same side of the coil. Also notice that when you use your right hand rule and you point your fingers in the direction of the current, your thumb will point in the direction of magnetic field. So for coil one, you have the magnetic field in this direction. For coil two, you have the magnetic field in the same direction. Now some of this magnetic field will spill over. So typically, the magnetic field will go around like this and come back on the other side. And so the magnetic field will come around like that. But at the center, it will go a little bit further before it starts curling over. And then you can see that some of the magnetic field will actually be aiding the other magnetic field over here which means that the mutual inductance increases the magnetic field in the other coil due to the presence of magnetic field in this coil and vice versa. This magnetic field will extend out into this coil and there'll be some mutual interaction which is beneficial or aiding in that respect. Aiding meaning that it will build up additional magnetic field in both coils due to the mutual coupling between the two coils. And that's why we have this additional term that can store additional energy because you're actually increasing the flux, the magnetic flux inside each of the two coils and the total energy in the circuit will, will then be increased by this term. But what happens when you have them wound differently? In this case, you have the coil winding around like this and then here you have the coil wound in the opposite direction so that the current will come up on the front side and down the back side. Here will come up on the back side and down on the front side. So notice then if you use your right hand rule on this side, the magnetic field will point to the left, but on this side you have to turn your hand around and notice that now my thumb points to the right and notice that the magnetic field now points in the opposite direction. So any field of this coil that penetrates through this coil right here will now be in the opposite direction, so it will actually diminish or reduce the magnitude of the magnetic field here, and vice versa. Here, the magnetic field will be re uh, reduced by the magnetic coupling between the two coils. So when they're what they call in the series opposing connection, that means we have the dots on the opposite side, the current enters on one side here, and on the other side, or essentially, the winding is in the opposite direction, and so that means you reduce the magnetic field in each of the coils, which therefore reduces the total energy in the system by this amount because of that opposition to the existing magnetic fields in each of the coils caused by the current in each of the coils. That hopefully will clarify, first of all, what that means, what the dot symbol means. It's simply a, a, a differential between how the coils are wound and how the current enters the coil on one side or on the other side, therefore creating magnetic fields either in the same direction or magnetic fields in the opposite direction. And that is how that works.